Hey, what is going on? This is Edward Stinga from Videoplasty and welcome to this tutorial video for Filmora in which I'm going to show you a super easy way uh, that you can use to create professional animations uh, in just a couple of minutes. This tutorial is beginner friendly and you can do the exact same thing as soon as you finish watching this video. And uh, the really cool thing about it is, as I said, you don't need any previous graphic design experience or any animation experience. Uh, the only thing you need is the method that I'm going to show you in this video and some really basic editing skills uh, in Filmora, which you can pretty much pick up by just watching this video. It's that simple. So let's have, first of all, let's have a quick look at the demo video we are going to create today. So, you're sick and tired of the same routine, same job you don't really like that much. But then it hits you. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff and go on an adventure? Like, pack your stuff right now and get ready to leave as soon as possible. Welcome to YourDreamTrips.com, the best travel agency in your local area. With us, it's all really simple. It doesn't matter if you want to go to an exotic island, go camping, sail around the sea, or go from place to place on a world tour. We got you covered. Don't forget your camera, because once you're on that airplane traveling halfway across the world, you'll want to take a picture of the clouds from your window seat. The view from 10,000 feet is amazing. Or take a selfie when you get there and post it on social media. Or really, just sit on the beach, enjoying the sun and relaxing. That's why you're there, aren't you? So give us a call at 1234-5678 and book your dream holiday today. All right, I think that looks pretty, pretty amazing. And I know what you might be thinking right now. This is a bit too much. This is a bit too advanced. You might feel a bit overwhelmed, but uh, trust me, it's much easier than it looks. And uh, the way we're going to recreate this video and um, the way you're going to be able to make any other animations super easy and super fast is by using something called stock animation. And uh, we're going to talk about this later, like where you can find stock animation. Uh, but for now, let's just see what stock animation is. It's basically uh, items of animation that are pre-animated. They're ready to go. All you have to do is drag and drop them on the timeline. They have like a start animation, like middle and end animation. And uh, you don't have to worry about like all that complicated stuff with, um, you know, designing the whole thing and animating it. Uh, all you have to do is like drag and drop it on the timeline like this. And um, it's going to work out of the box. The cool thing about it is that it usually comes with a transparent background. So uh, we're going to be able to change the black background. I mean, it seems like black, but it's actually empty around this guy. Um, so we're going to change that to something that we like. But first things first, whenever you start making a video, you obviously need a script, but that's a topic for a whole different video. Uh, so for now, we have the script and the voiceover done. So I'm just going to drag and drop the voiceover, which is really important because you want you want the visuals to match the voiceover. So when you select stock animation from wherever you get it from, you want to select clips that, uh, you know, match each sentence from your script. So let's see, uh, together with a voiceover, you want to have some music as well, just because it adds a little something to it. Uh, I'm just going to drag the volume of the music a bit down, say minus 11. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's see how it sounds. So you're sick and tired of the same routine. All right, the music is pretty good and the voiceover as well. So the first sentence uh, in the voiceover, it says, so you're sick and tired of the same routine. Uh, and one important thing I want to mention is uh, the way you we're going we're gonna to time the animation is we, we're going to look at the voiceover over here called travel voiceover. And more specifically, we're going to look at the waveform uh, when it goes up like this, it's like the voice is saying something. And um, when there's a pause between sentences, as it is here or here or here, for example, uh, it pretty much, you know, it's here on the bottom. 
So for this part here, it says sick and tired. So we're going to use this clip called tired. I'm going to drag and drop it on the timeline. It's going to ask us if we want to change the settings of the projects. And we don't want to do that. We want to keep it to full HD. So uh, I'm going to select it here at the end and drag it all the way to here to make it shorter. Uh, click OK. And uh, let's see what the next part in the voiceover says. Same job you don't really like that much. <clears throat> Same job you don't really like that much. Uh, we're going to use this one right here, sleeping at work. Again, make it shorter. And as, as I said earlier, you know, you have to do a bit of research before you create the video. First, you write the script and, um, you know, then you record the voiceover or find someone else to record it for you. And uh, then if you use this method, you need to find some um, matching stock animation that is going to go well with the message that you want to send. So in our case, you know, first sentence, second tired, blah, blah, blah. It works well with this guy drinking coffee. Same job, you don't really like that much. It worked really well with this clip called Sleeping at Work uh, and so on. So let's continue with the tutorial. Uh, we also want to change the background color. So we're going to select everything oops, and move it one layer up because we want to use this layer down here. So unfortunately, I didn't find any direct way to do this, only like a workaround to create a uh, background color of my choice in Filmora. So the way you do that is you just select one of those titles, for example, and you drag and drop it here on the bottom. So for now, it's just going to look like text. But uh, if you double click on it, you go here and I'm just going to erase the text because we don't need any text actually. And we're going to go to advanced here. And uh, let's see, we're going to use this button right here to add a shape which uh, we're going to just make it like this to fill up the whole screen. It's basically like a background for the text, but uh, we're going to remove the text. So uh, that's going to leave us just with the background, basically. And uh, let's see how we do that. Uh, so we go to customize right here. Oh, yeah. And uh, you got to scroll down a bit until you see color fill. So you click on color and uh, we're just going to select something like I don't know, something like this, let's say. So uh, let's just close this color tab, click OK. And um, there you go. Oh, no, we still have the text. Let me let me just remove that. All right, there you go. And um, now I'm just going to make this a bit longer so it covers the video. Let's see. Let's see how it looks so far. So you're sick and tired of the same routine, same job you don't really like that much, but then it hits. All right, so the playback is um, is a bit slow because it plays back at full quality, and uh, that's normal because I'm also recording this uh, this tutorial. So I'm just gonna click here, playback quality, and just select that like one point one eighth or something. Yeah, should uh, should play back a bit better. So you're. Oops, <laughs> that's a bit too too pixelated. So let's just say uh, one fourth. Sick and tired of the same routine, same job. You don't really like that much. But th yeah, unfortunately, my uh, my computer lags a bit, so I'm just gonna leave it on one half, fifty percent quality, and uh, let's just keep going. Let's see what the voiceover says next. But then it hits you. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff and go on an adventure? All right, so for this new part in the in the script, I used this clip of the guy thinking. I'm just going to drag it here. But I only used it for like one or two seconds. Oops. I just want to grab the end. Um, and uh, immediately after, I used this one of the guy getting an idea. So I'm just going to put it here all the way to here and uh, let's see what the next part in the voiceover says. 
Like, pack your stuff right now and get ready to leave as soon as possible. All right, so for the next part, I wanted to, you know, like spice things up a bit. And um, I used this one, which is a full screen scene. Uh, it's, it's a bit different than uh, just the regular guy we had before. And I really, really think it works really well. So kind of use it up until here somewhere. Doesn't even matter if it's in the middle of the sentence. Because the next one I'm going to use is this one, uh, the guy traveling, holding a passport and, uh, you know, some luggage as well. So they, they kind of work well together. So again, going to make this one shorter because after this part here is, I think it's pretty much where uh, we introduce the logo and the name of the company. So well, let's see what the voiceover says next. Welcome to yourdreamtrips.com, the best travel agency in your local area. All right, so that's exactly what the voiceover says. So uh, in this case, we don't really have a logo. So what I did for the demo video was I used this um, van animation, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, so I'm just going to drag it here. Let's see how it looks. It, it's a bit big, so let's just double click on it. So we want to adjust the scale to make it like, um, I don't know, let's say... 56% should be fine. Uh, move it a bit up like this. Click OK. And then the next thing we want to do, we want to add some text somewhere under it. So let's just go to titles and uh, let's see. Let's add, uh, I don't know, this one, 38. Drag it here. And, oops, double click on it. So let's just say yourdreamtrips.com. Uh, select all of it, change the color to black so we can see it a bit better. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let's see, maybe make it a bit smaller, like 50. Should should be fine. Oops. Uh, yeah, just move it a bit lower like this. You know, change the font if you want to, like, I don't even know. Open Sans is pretty standard font uh you know just play around with it align it centrally um stuff like that yeah uh, i'm just gonna like leave leave it as it was with this font it just looks a bit cooler so yeah just hit okay and um uh, yeah let's play back the whole thing we made so far we have like the first as you can see here we have like 20 seconds of the video already done and um, yeah, let's just see what we have so far. Hopefully it's going to play back <laughs> pretty, pretty well. So you're sick and tired of the same routine, same job you don't really like that much. But then it hits you. What if you... Yeah, let's uh, actually, let's try changing the playback quality to one eighth. Let's see how that looks. For playback while you're editing, you don't need it to be like full quality. Uh, it only matters when you export it. But for now, it's a bit hard to play in real time without rendering it, without exporting it first. So let's try again. So you're sick and tired of the same routine, same job you don't really like that much. But then it hits you. What if you take a break from all that boring stuff and go on an adventure? Like pack your stuff right now and get ready to leave as soon as possible. Welcome to yourdreamtrips.com, the best travel agency in your local area. All right. Uh, unfortunately, you know, the playback quality isn't so good. But uh, the main point in, you know, playing it back like this is to see if the timings match. Because if you just scroll like this without actually playing it, you can see the quality is good. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. But uh, I think that looks pretty, pretty good. Uh, we only spent like a couple of minutes, maybe like 5-10 minutes, and we already have uh, 20 seconds of the video done, which I think is pretty, pretty amazing. And uh, as you can see, it's super simple. You can do it right now after you watch this video. Uh, you don't need any experience, any animation, graphic design skills or anything like that. It's super easy. You just drag and drop it on the timeline, adjust the timings, and uh, here we go. We have 20 seconds of the video in as little as 10 minutes.
Now, the big question is where can you find stock animation? And a really good place where you can find it is a website called videoplasty.com. And uh, yes, full disclosure, I do own Videoplasty. Uh, it's a place where we sell stock animation, GIF animation, vector clip art. But for this tutorial, you just need stock animation. And uh, of course, there are some other places out there where you can get stock animation. But uh, the reason why we started Videoplasty in the first place was because we weren't satisfied with what was available out there. Uh, <clears throat> you can just find some bits here and there, which are usually uh, from different authors. So that means they have very different styles and the quality is usually quite low. So if you want to make a video and uh, mix and match a couple of like packs like we have here like a criminal pack a we had a corporate guy this is like internet icons as well uh, if you want to mix and match they normally wouldn't work from other websites which is why we created video plasty so you can get everything um, in one place uh, made by the same team so the style is pretty consistent and uh, we have like a wide range of, uh, of assets that you can choose from like animated icons uh, you know, uh, character packs, others, and scenes as well. So have have a look, see if you like anything. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This was Edward Stinger from Videoplasty, and uh, I'll see you soon.